Hello and welcome to the How to Travel Vegan podcast. I'm your host, Tom Simak, and today we're exploring Mexico City. With a city where almost any restaurant can make vegan options due to, well, beans and tacos, I'm going to give you some really cool, unique spins to your favorite foods. Starting off with a slightly Western feel at Vegamo MX, a vegan coffee bakery and store that has things like smoothies, cakes, mock meats, and waffles. So it's pretty fusion, and they produce some really photogenic dishes as well. I'll follow that up with a place that's also Western, which is Salvex MX. Pizzas, pastas, and desserts with great prices. Their large pizzas are 100 pesos, which is like 7 or $8 Australian, and their cakes are like 3 Australian dollars. Next up is La Pitea Vegana. I think I'm saying that right, but most things in their menu are actually pink, including their tortilla chips and cheeses, obviously making them perfect for really cool photos. Wondering why it was pink, doing my research, I actually found that the word pitaheya translates to dragon fruit. So that explains that. But it's a place I'd recommend if you want to leave feeling pretty damn healthy. Now, this next place, I cannot pronounce to save my life, so check the spelling in the show notes. It's called Por Siempre Vegana Taqueria, and something like that. They're a Mexican food stall with soy meat and cheeses. There are no seats. So when I say it's a stall, it's legit a stall. They also have dessert options for you. The last place I'll mention for authentic Mexican food is Veguerero. All the classic foods that you'd expect a Mexican place to have. The setup is super cute and genuine. You'll feel like you're getting grandma's home cooked meals. Now, I've only mentioned a fraction of the available vegan places, and that's because the others had a really close mix of one and five-star reviews, so I don't trust that kind of stuff. But don't be afraid to venture out to other places here. I've only mentioned the top few percent. But I know there's a lot out there with really unique stories that might not deliver on customer service but have amazing food or might not have amazing food but a really good customer service base. So definitely test the waters out yourself. As for tours, there's actually a few options out there, starting with tastybitesfoodtours.mx. They have a three-hour vegan walking tour. Airbnb host Mena and David have a a four-and-a-half-hour street food adventure. They have heaps of amazing reviews there as well. Lastly, eatlikealocal.com.mx have a vegan market tour that goes for four hours, so you can pick and choose your favorites. That is all for me today. If you have any questions, you can find me on Instagram at How to Travel Vegan. Much love. Peace.